Welcome back. It's uh, we're past the mid game slump. I feel uh, we got a lot of good stuff going on. We got a lot of very powerful ships floating around, and overall, I'm I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about our current situation. And uh, let's take a quick look at a handful here, what they can do. Yeah, they're inferior to us, which means that we can pretty much knock them out of the park. The uh, other guys, uh, the Tegel, yeah, they're no longer an issue. And uh, what is the ship fleet doing? It's jumping to Ionidas. So let's go and speed this up. Let's see if we can find any of their fleets and start knocking them out. There's a couple of small fleets bouncing around. Yeah, I thought as much. There's a small fleet here and there. Uh, that is just going around. We've got the uh, first scout force. Uh, the first scout force, of course, completely designed to being a fleet that is pretty... Oh, what's this? There is the enemy fleet. Okay, cool. Uh, we have managed to locate where the enemies are held up. Uh, they've got almost no fleet power whatsoever. So we're going to be bumping into this FTL trap if we can. Where did they go? They're in Hanfalier territory somewhere. They're now in here, in this system. Let's see. It's going to take a couple of days to jump into it, but overall it shouldn't be much of a problem. In the meantime, all my planets are just cranking out battleships by the metric ton. Uh, yes, that is the uh, technical... Uh, the technical uh, term for that. Um, cruiser assembly yards. I f could it, yeah, we can. We have. Uh, we can build more tachyons. That is good. Uh, our main capital fleet is on standby. And we're just chasing around the enemy right now. In all honesty, probably not the best way of using our resources in terms of uh, our fleets and all that stuff. Uh, but I'm kind of skeptical of actually splitting up my fleet at the moment. Ooh, what's this? So we got a small enemy fleet in system. Uh, we just jumped right on top of them, so that's that fleet down. Uh, it is going to reset our timer, though, which is not the greatest. Kinetic weapon attack is good. Uh, armor, absolutely. And uh, I've been I've been working uh, working on a couple things today in terms of video stuff. Uh, Def Diary should be coming out like in the last uh, couple hours. Uh, shouldn't be too difficult there. Uh, we did just jump in into one of our systems, and we're still chasing around the enemy. Uh, this is not an optimal way of using our resources, in all honesty. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and uh, slap a new leader on this and uh, send these out towards our uh, targets. Uh, let's uh, set these guys to aggressive while we're at it. While the main, sc while the main scout force can uh, go and attack the enemy where necessary. Uh, the Confederacy of Systems. Ah, well, well, we are right on top of them. There is the Hanfalier fleet. They're gonna drop like flies. Uh, we may lose one or two corvettes, maybe a cruiser here and there. But overall, I'm, I'm feeling pretty, pretty happy about the, our current situation in terms of uh, fleet power. Good. We managed to take out the enemy. Uh, they did manage to jump out a little bit, so they're gonna go in the here. Let's see what we can do. Just some small fleet stuff. Nothing too crazy. And uh, we are reinforcing our fleets with single battleships every single time as well. So, And uh, bouncing back and forth. Ah, there we go. There's the enemy fleet. So 188 versus about 100k handful there. Should be uh, pretty doable. Uh, we did lose a single battleship. Hmm. That's a bit annoying. Uh, this fleet should, the first strike force should not be going out in there. Uh, they can stay in here for now. Uh, we will split up this force once again, put them on aggressive and move them into here. Uh, this fleet will split them up, uh, put them on aggressive, send them in into here. And as soon as this fleet will send them into there. Still, though, uh, this battle should not be taking too long. Uh, their main capital fleet is going to be pretty reamed. I'm really curious about their designs here. Yeah, they're using mostly lasers. Are they using any... They're not using any dragon scale in anything. That means they never actually managed to get it. I know that Tegel have managed to get some of their dragon scale fleets. So, 
But we're having so many tachyons here that and plasmas as well, so that we should not be running into any problems whatsoever. A couple of cruisers just bouncing in. Uh, this is not going to cause too many problems. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and send out our fleet into enemy territory. We've got a small engagement here. It's just a transport fleet. Uh, we lost three cruisers in that, actually, but they lost everything. So, uh, But in the grand scheme of things, it's not a problem. Okay, that's all good. So let's take a look at our planets here. Uh, let's max out these uh, space stations for the fleet bonuses, or at least our fleet cap. Uh, for those people that haven't seen any uh, Solaris in some time, uh, this is actually really cool, uh, cool because originally our fleet, cap, fleet naval cap was at 999, and that was changed, I think, in 1.2... No, it was pinched in 1.3, I think, where the fleet cap is now 9,999. 9, 9, and you can go over that as well, which is pretty crazy, come to think of it. Cool, killing spaceports. We're pretty much blockading as many fleet uh, locations as we can. Uh, single enemy fleets. Uh, it's not really all that important. Energy credits plus 5%. That should boost us even more. Uh, Mineral-wise, we're pretty good. Uh, Let's finally get those Archimeters, shall we? And let's go into our policy screen just to make sure that, yeah, we have social welfare programs enabled. That's a pretty important one. Uh, I'm really looking forward to 1.5. Um, the items that we've seen so far in 1.5, especially in the category of completely changing the way how uh, governments are handled, is so exciting to me. Like, we're going to see so many... Ex excellent changes in our uh, in our games that I am so excited about, and uh, I'm really looking forward to see how this is all going to pan out. Okay, so let's just split up with this fleet, send you over here, set you to aggressive, um, send you into aggressive mode. And is there any systems I don't? I'm not currently not. Uh, yeah, this one. So set this one to aggressive and bomb this one into oblivion. But yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward on how things are going to develop in 1.5. There's a lot of really cool stuff with governmental stuff on the horizon. Uh, I'm really looking forward to see how that is going to develop over time. Um, being able to customize your government in such a way that uh, the game becomes a lot more flexible in terms of how things are going to pan out is just staggeringly good. I'm really looking forward to that as well. Uh, and I think that is going to be one of the biggest changes in 1.5. 1.5 uh, so far looking to be exceptionally promising. Okay, so this fleet this is taking out a spaceport here. That should take down the enemy fleet power even more. Human civilization encountered. We have detected the presence of a pre-space civilization on Sol 3. Hello there, humans. Industrial age humans. Oh, hello there. Oh, that's cool. And we're just bombing their worlds. That is good. So we're now currently at seventy. Uh, at seventy-four percent war score. Uh, is there any worlds right here that we're currently not bombing into the ground? Uh, there is this one. There is an FTL trap in here. Uh, I want to send a fairly large contingent into this, so I want to split up the this scout force and send them into here. Construction complete. Yeah, we're just destroying them everywhere. Okay, we got more battleships done. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, that is excellent. And uh, we should be actively bombing everything into the ground right now. We can split up the first scout force even even further if we want to. Let's quickly inspect. I believe one of these systems has two planets in it. Uh, I think it was one of these ones. I'm not entirely sure which one it was. Uh, yo, there is an FTL trap in here. Interesting choice. Shouldn't cause too many problems. Did we lose a battleship in this? No, we did not. It's just right on top of the station. For a second there, I thought that's a wreck, but it was not the case. So... We got a war, the Felnol and the Oklar Cooperative. Interesting. We got a small fleet in here. That's a 20,000 fleet power fleet. Uh, we're going to need to re-engage 
one or two of our fleets in here and try to knock him out before they become a problem. You guys need to move away. Let's hope that they manage to chase after us. That is their alliance fleet. So it shouldn't cause a serious problem. But we're going to micromanage our, uh, our our fleet here whilst being chased, waiting for our support fleets to come in. Uh, we can jump out. There is one support fleet. There's the second one. There's the third. And let's engage. Okay, cool. So now we have four fleets on their asses. Uh, they're going to die very quickly here. Yeah, this is not going to last very long. Especially with these plasma cannons all over the place. Uh, it should not cause any problems. Probably you lose like one or two cruisers in this. Uh, not the biggest end of not the not the end of the world. I, mean, I think that we're yeah like one or two cruisers, maybe a couple of corvettes or destroyers. Let's take a look here. Yeah, whoa, well, one battleship as well. So we lost a corvette and a battleship in that. Uh, you are currently attacking a spaceport. We did have to move a couple of fleets away from this. Uh, yes. You're currently moving. Uh, you can go and re-engage this. Uh, you can go and re-engage this one right here. You are already in here. Situation log updated. Yeah, there's like a whole bunch of fleets in here now. <laughs> this is not going to cause any problem whatsoever. Uh, you, sir. Oh, they're all they're all moving in to bomb that world. So, what have we gotten here? Uh, small strike force. Nothing too crazy. You are just moving around. Uh, you need to go back into here, I guess. Actually, we'll move them back into there. And there's a couple of smaller smaller engagements going along, uh, going around. Yeah, all my fleets are just de uh, disengaging. So we'll just merge these up into uh, one blob. Hostile fleet engaged. System survey. Hmm. We should still have a fleet roaming around because we're going to lose another battleship here. That's expensive. It's 1,200 minerals or a couple hundred minerals to say the least. But we're right on top of them already, so uh, we will be able to destroy this system quickly and efficiently, and their fleet should be knocked out. Excellent. That's their fleet down. We'd lose a battleship there, but that was to be expected. Uh, no war is without its losses. And let's, uh, in the meantime, go to a trade district and uh, build some new cruisers here. Or let's build some more Tachyon battleships, shall we? And we'll, uh, we'll top up our cruiser lines shortly. Okay, new civilization has been discovered. Nothing that we can really do anything with. 68% fleet power at the moment. What have we got in here? Uh, there's two fleets in here. So that's the 13 strike force. We'll move you guys into here. Set you to aggressive. Uh, that's only a, a single battleship, actually. So we should merge these up. Uh, there's one fleet in here. One fleet in here. There's two fleets in here. and That should not be the case. So we will send this fleet into there. And that should uh, spread the love, so to speak. The orbital bombardment love, as uh, I like to call it. All right, cool. Agrarian district uh, also completely designed. Uh, all of my ring worlds down here are completely designed to uh, destroy, uh, to, b to crank out ships as fast as possible with the highest possible uh, modifiers uh, because of the fleet academy. It does give a massive bonus. We're finding out all these small... Uh, all these small fleets everywhere, or all these small worlds. Yeah, two cruisers down. Uh, another small fleet in here. Uh, this is a bit of a worrying engagement, even though our cruisers outgunned them by quite a margin. Uh, what kind of weapons are these running? Again, lasers, disintegrators, their destroyers, uh, the battleships are... Their battleships are actually not using XL weapons. Curious. But we should, out we should outgun them by quite some margin, mainly because of the Tachyon cannons. 
the tachyon cannons uh, are basically flying death. And I'm starting to think that if we spec out our ships properly, we may be able... What's this? The Felnol and the Ocular Consensus. Is that a new Ocular Consensus? Okay, it's up. Situation log updated. Uh, also, uh, these aliens are causing me massive headaches because because of them, the, our name is not big enough. System survey. Uh, we're currently integrating a couple of aliens. It's not the Zeltec Union. I think is it the hegemony of Othathia? I can't even remember. Let's take a look here. Who are we integrating? Uh, no, we are integrating. I thought we were integrating somebody. Protectors integrating subject integration, which is a 0.5 uh, malice that we're getting at the moment. Where is that though? Is it the Kroll? Is it these guys? Yeah, we're currently integrating them, so it's 18 months. So that uh, is not much of a problem. Let's take a look at our fleets. Uh, we're all bombing. We're at 80 fleet war score, uh, 80 war score even. Um, is uh, the, the first scout force is already 70% again, so what we're going to do is we're going to split these up and move them to somewhere else. Uh, there is a small fleet over here. Um... What I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna jump him in. Uh, I'm gonna jump him around System systems. Ooh, there is a small fleet in here. That's not good. We will knock him out. Are they jumping out? They are jumping out. Where did they go? They're in Edomar. Oh, they're okay. So my allies, all my own ships are already engaging them and they're trying to jump out. I think. Yeah, they'll be jumping out now. Uh, this does impact our ability to engage the uh, engage them a little bit. Ocular Confederacy has finished their rivalry with Volataria. Uh, we're currently nine out of ten, surprisingly enough. Hmm. Uh, in the meantime, let's upgrade some of these locations. There's a lot of energy to be had here, and minerals as well. Do uh, am I rocking an energy? No, I'm not rocking a power hub just yet. We do want that. Uh, the 10% bonus is pretty good. And uh, we will put a basic science lab in here just to top things up. This world looking very strong. I don't think I've got a... Uh, this is mostly mines, I think. Yeah, this looks like it's mostly mines. Energy-wise, we don't really need much at the moment. Okay, we got a mineral processing plant here anyway, so... It's not an issue, so let's put a power hub in here. Small engagements. As you can see, they're dropping like flies. Uh, this is the this is the strike force. Oh, this strike force is also engaged. Yeah, I'm not gonna cause any problems. They're just basically right now just throwing ship in towards our ships into our general direction and. Not getting too much luck out of it. So we're going to send this fleet in here to take out this FTL inhibitor that's just hanging out. Situation the second strike force, not going to cause any problems. Wow, we just destroyed that. Yeah, and they're just, they're just sending in ships in one by one. So, yeah, they're going to just lose ships one by one, basically, at this point. Um, I am really tempted to release the hegemony of Aphethia and then just destroy them outright. Because they are causing problems with our giant logo. Our logo in space. Um, mining station, defense station. Yeah, that was the FTL inhibitor right there. So that's gone, which is fine. And uh, yeah, they're just sending in like small fleets that are not really causing any problems to us there's another FTL inhibitor in here so let's go and take that one out a couple of drop squads uh, let's take a look at the war score here yeah we actually have not lost any war score in this war uh, most of us coming from blockading as well uh, let's send some drop squads in there shall we so, so we can start purging what's this the Felnol once again with the Oklar. Nothing surprising there. So let's go and uh, jump into here. Let's land our armies. 
Okay, kill the Corvettes, killed four destroyers, a fortress, and a wormhole station. Yeah. Oh, what is this? A ring world? Interesting. Um, we will try to destroy this. Uh, that's a ring world in here. Mm. We do want to take out. We want do want to take that out uh, because the ring world will remove their living metal supply, which means they won't have the ability to regenerate their uh, their ships all that efficiently. So we go to our special resources here. Living metal is a plus two percent monthly hull regeneration and plus five percent armor as well, which is a pretty big deal. So we want to we want to take these out pretty quickly, and then uh, they should be hampered quite a lot. In addition, they will no longer be able to trade that resource uh, with any of our enemies as well. Let's jump in the. Oh, let's jump in straight into its FTL inhibitor. Uh, we should be able to take out everything in there. We're currently 84 war score. Uh, ooh, this is not a good idea, guys. Let's uh, go and take out these stations. I, I'm not a big fan of the fact that our ships automatically just slow down. Um, but we do need to save these uh, drop ships right now because we, uh, these are all just gene, uh, gene guys. Okay, we have managed to annex some more territory. Uh, that's a garden, I think. No, it's not garden. Garden needs to be uh, upgraded, actually. Let's. Uh, Get all this stuff underway. More energy is always nice. It's not ne particularly necessary at this moment, considering the amount of energy we're already generating. Uh, where did we get those two? It's Dressel, I think. Were there, there were two in here? Uh, yeah. Oh, we got a bunch of additional ships with that. Fair enough. Uh, wow, it's natural beauty on this one. That's cool. Yeah, that's that's very cool indeed. All right, cool. That's done, and we'll do the same thing with these aliens, and then uh, we'll repopulate those with humans very shortly. Uh, this is not going to impact our economy in any way, as uh, we're basically already in the process of uh, churning out new uh, new sectors as we're going, or at least uh, we're not having any problems with this due to the fact that. Uh, all these worlds are already part of something else. So this should cause no problems with this. This is Garden. We're, we're in the process of upgrading this right now. Effectively, that should uh, max all that stuff out. So. 92 war score. Excellent. Uh, did we lose anything in this? No, we did not. Uh, are we sieging this world now? I think, yeah, we are. Okay, so we're sieging this world. Okay. Uh, as soon as we capture this world, I think that should throw us over. Oh, there we go. The best possible outcome. And uh, they should lose a significant chunk of territory, which is great. Savannah world. Uh, ocean world. Let's go and colonize this. Normally, I would turn this into a Gaia world. But due to the fact that we want to retake as much territory as we can, I'm just going to omit that for now. We did just purge a significant chunk of their territory, so uh, this is not going to cause any problems in the long run. Uh, let's send our fleet back to our staging system, as is tradition, and uh, we'll take care of the rest later. Yeah, we cleansed so many worlds there. They just lost an entire chunk of worlds uh, just, just like that. And it adds so much additional territory for us as well. Also, it means that everybody's going to hate our, hate our guts, so whatever. It's not really something that I'm particularly worried about. But the amount of uh, minerals and research that we're going to get out of this is going to be quite significant. Uh, I think, yeah, there's some mining stations here we can build. And I think we finally have some dark matter as well. Let's take a look here. Do we already have dark matter? Dark matter. Oh, it's just outside of our reach. Oh, that is annoying. Okay, fair enough. Well, that's that's how it is, I'm afraid. Uh, but moving all this stuff forward is going to allow us to uh, get more territory. And uh, colonizing this world over here is going to allow us to remove 
uh, one of the frontier outposts over here, which is exactly what we want because we should be able to push back even more territory uh, because of this. System survey. What is our economy like right now? It's mostly ship maintenance, isn't it? Yeah, okay. And the military fleets are in the in the process of docking. And uh, we are pretty close to getting maxed out fleet power again. But that will wrap up things for this episode. 25 minutes. Wow, I'm very talkative today. Next time, we're going to go and uh, I think... Can we... Can we... Let me, let me have a quick look-see here. We can vassalize Velateria. And we will. Until next time, take good care of yourselves and each other.